Thanks for staying with us this midday. Millions of Americans deal with hypertension and its effects every day. But how do you know if you have it or if you're at risk for getting it? Dr. Abha Saxena from Internist PC joins us now with more. Good morning to you and thanks for being here with us at midday. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. And can you maybe just define to our viewers what exactly is hypertension? We hear it all the time. So basically it's a very simple thing. Any fluid flowing through a pipe has a pressure. Mm -hmm. The blood flowing through our veins has a pressure. And that's when it becomes too much, that's when it is called hypertension. Okay, so it's basically high blood pressure? High blood pressure, okay. yes. And pressure is produced by the blood flowing in the veins and arteries. Okay. And, and how we define it as high, we have come up with numbers slowly with so many studies during the whole means like several decades of studies. Um, in um, America, when we took the blood pressure in the past, we thought that if 80% of people have blood pressure in this range, that's what should be a normal blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And we came up with a um, limit of 140 systolic and 90 diastolic, and that was 80% of the people in America had. Okay. But more population studies came and we realized population which had lower blood pressure, like in 120s, had less risk of high cardiovascular disease, including heart attacks or stroke. So 140 is on the high side then? Exactly. Now later we realized actually 140 is high blood pressure. Okay. So like I'm describing, you know, like so many people in America have high blood pressure. Right. It affects so many of us. So who is at risk, obviously, if it affects so many of us? Exactly. 31% of American population has high blood pressure. Okay. The risk factors include our lifestyle, mainly the salt intake, the alcohol intake, the obesity, not getting enough exercise. But apart from that, the race preference, the Ameri African Americans have high risk of high blood pressure. And also, the, it's genetic. Mm -hmm. So if your parents have high blood pressure, you are at high risk of having high blood pressure too. And how's it diagnosed? Because I, I mean, I know I go, when I go to the doctor, they wrap the thing around your arm and they pump and uh -huh. check out what your pressure it's, is. Uh, that's the best way we use that is manometer, basically to check the blood pressure. Usually if you go to a doctor the first time your blood pressure is high, it's not supposed to be called as high blood pressure. It takes about two, three visits with the doctor to settle down your blood pressure. And figure out where it actually Same thing, is. Exactly, because anxiety affects it. Your personality, personality traits affect it. Mm -hmm. Like if you are a very anxious person who is always on the edge, you have very high risk of having high blood pressure. Okay. Well, and how is it treated? Really quickly. Um, the is it main easy thing, to treat? It's very easy to treat. Most of the people, actually high blood pressure is not the same in every person. It's different, um, like it's with the disease or is it with the, just because your lifestyle is different and it's treated in a different way too. So mainly we concentrate on changing your lifestyle, changing your uh, diet mm -hmm. and getting more exercise and that's the first step. Some diet easy rich to do. in fruits and fresh vegetables, that's the best thing to treat you. Okay. Dr. Saxena, thanks so much for joining us today. Some great tips and helpful information for explaining hypertension. We no appreciate problem. it. No problem. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. And tomorrow our high